of the game. Shot clock is off. Angel Reese has four Liberty players around her. And fans yelling to get the ball into Reese. Oh no! Did the stat pattern and Angel Reese get exposed today, ladies and gentlemen, as her team lost to the New York Liberty? Same team that Caitlin Clark put up historical numbers, by the way, and destroyed. But Angel Reese, ladies and gentlemen, right? Her whole rookie of the year case has been brought to what she's done with the double doubles, right? Um, I think Angel Reese had what 13 to 14 straight double doubles, right? Uh, which is a WNBA record as well, right? But over the last couple of games, even against the game against the Atlanta Dream, Angel Reese was in later in those games and getting rebounds and getting points to keep that streak alive, right? And tonight, you just seen today that Angel Reese, when her team was getting blown by, right? They was getting blown out the gym, right? The fact that she was still in the game trying to get 10 points when she shot 3 for 13 on for layups, right? Trying to get 10 points to keep that double-double streak alive. And then when she didn't get the ball, and shout-out to the New York Liberty for, like, double-teaming her, triple-teaming her, trying to show her how it is, how Caitlin Clark gets guarded as well, right? She wanted to throw her arms up and pout and moan and complain because she didn't get the 10 points and keep that double-double streak alive, man. At the end of the day, Chad, it's just it's weird to me at the end of the day, right? We have a lot of Caitlin Clark haters and a lot of Angel Reese supporters, right? And at the end of the day, the reason why people are saying that this rookie of the year uh, race is close because they hate Caitlin Clark and they love Angel Reese. It is what it is, right? And at the end of the day, if you look at Caitlin Clark, she's doing something that no other WNBA player has done in history, right? And that's she produced a triple double, right? A triple double that she produced, right? Um, that no other WNBA rookie has ever done. She's the first to ever do that. Um, but at the end of the day, um, Caitlin Clark is leading the lead as a rookie in scoring. She lead the lead in rookie in assists. Uh, she has the same amount of assists or same amount of steals as Angel Reese, the same amount of blocks as Angel Reese as well. So she's doing it on both ends, right? The thing about Angel Reese, and this is the reason why I don't have her as the rookie of the year, I think she's like two. Um, but she's nowhere near number one is because at the end of the day, the offensive limitations in her game is nowhere near. Uh, she's nowhere near as offensive player as Caitlin Clark. Um, at the end of the day, Caitlin Clark's putting up uh, huge, huge numbers, right? When we're looking at what she's averaging 16, uh, 6, and 5, right? Um, and she's giving you steals. She's giving you the blocks as well. She's giving you the advantage creation, the playmaking, and passing um, at the end of the day. It just at a higher level than um, Angel Reese as well, right? Um, people keep on talking about her her defensive impact, and her defensive impact is not moving the needle like that. Um, she's not an elite defender. She's not even the best defender on the team, right? Uh, but I still have to tax Angel Reese too as well for basically stat padding to get that double-double streak. Y'all think it's oppressive. To Angel Reese, who's literally um, missing her own shots to get the rebounds and put it back up, right? She misses she miss a layup, she gets the offensive rebound, and she puts it right back up. That's really not a precedent because that just tells you that from a big girl perspective, and we're looking at relative to the WNBA, she's shooting below lead average for her position. Um, Angel Reese is shooting like 40 sub 40%, and she takes all her shots under the basket. That's embarrassing as well, right? So, um, the thing is, is she's stat padding to get those stats as well. Today proves that she was stat padding getting those stats. She's stat padding against Atlanta Dream. This rookie of the year uh, race is not even close. And the fact that Don Staley and these other girls are coming out sitting there saying that Angel Reese is the rookie of the year and the ESPN rank is the disrespecting Caitlin Clark, it's just embarrassing to me, bro. Caitlin Clark is asked to create more advantages with her playmaking, with her passing, um, with her um, being blicks in the half court, right? Um, setting the offensive girls up as well, right? From Kelsey Mitchell, Natasha Smith, Leah Boston. Mo th those girls, they're creating open looks because Caitlin Clark gravity and her attention on the ball, right? And Andrew Reese, who is not good offensively, who's awkward in the post, right? She she literally gets 
she literally turns over the ball every every time on initial content contact. Uh, she meet, re, she's a terrible finisher, chat. She's literally a terrible finisher, right? And the fact that y'all trying to lower the bar for Angel Reese, her only job, Angel Reese, is to get rebounds. They lower the bar and sit there and say that she's the rookie of the year, and on, the only thing she do is just get rebounds. That is sad. That is embarrassing, bro. Caitlin Clark is asked to not only create advantages with the playmaking, with the passing, but she's also asked to score um, at a high level. She's also asked to be not a liability or in a position as well. And she also to ask to not only create advantages for herself, but also for her teammates as well, right? So, uh, Angel Reese ex literally exposed herself today like how they really, really care about these awards. They care about what other people think. Um, and you can tell that Angel Reese is really, really trying to get that Rookie of the Year award and trying to you know, use narratives to sit there and say that, oh, yeah, um, uh, she's got the double doubles. Like, what's more impressive? Something that has never been done before in WNBA history or something that has literally been done before, right? And I think a triple double is more impressive than a double double. Triple double is more impressive than a double double, right? That's like sitting there saying that, well, the triple double is not more impressive than a double double because the double double. Happened 14 straight times. Well, okay. So, by that logic, that means when Kobe scored 80 points, right? The guy that scored 30 points 25 straight times, the 30 points 25 straight times is better than Kobe scoring 80 points or Wilt scoring 100 points. Like, that's that's terrible logic, right? That's never been done before. So, something that has never been done before in WNBA rookie history, I'm going to take that, right? So, um, Angel Reese is not rookie of the year. This is expose her. She's a stat pattern, pattern her stats. Um, you know, this is embarrassing. Um, she's not a good finisher. She's not a good offensive player, man. Give the award to Caitlin Clark. 